a sample problem from chapter 22nd. So in this question, we are going to apply the rule for electric field due to dipole. Let's we read the question and after we read the question, we are going to apply the rule for getting the answer for this question. Sprites are huge flashes that occurs far above a large thunderstorm. So the figure is given here. This figure is 22-10A. And they were seen for decades by pilots flying at night, but they were so brief and dim that most pilots figured they were just illusions. Then in the 1990s, the sprites were captured on video. They are still not well, inter well understood, but are believed to be produced when especially a powerful lightning occurs between the ground and the storm clouds, particularly when the lightning transfers a huge amount of negative charge from the ground to the base of the clouds. So that means this will occur because of the lightnings. So during the lightning, what will happen? It will transfer the huge amount of the negative charge from the ground level to the base of the cloud. So you have to see this figure. So during the lightning, what will happen? The lightning will transfer the negative charge from the ground level to the cloud level, okay? Just after such a transfer, the ground has complicated distribution of the positive charge. So once it transfers the negative charge, now what will happen? The positive charge will accommodate it. Clear? However, we can model the electric field due to charges in the clouds and the ground by assuming the vertical electric dipole that has a charge negative Q at cloud height H and the charge plus Q at below ground depth height. So that figure is given here. So you have to see here, this is the ground level. So better I can write here, this is the ground level. And above the ground level, we have the negative charge and this distance is H. Likewise, you have the positive charge below the ground level and this distance is also H. And here you have the negative charge and here you have the positive charge. That means what is the definition for the dipole? So dipole consists of a positive and negative charge and these two charges are separate with the some distance D. So here what is the distance? H plus H. That is nothing but 2H is the distance between the positive charge and the negative charge. So today we are going to apply this distance for getting our answer. Okay, let's we continue reading the question. Just after such a transfer, the ground has the complicated distribution of the positive charge. However, we can model the electric field due to the charges in the clouds and the ground by assuming the vertical electric dipole that has the negative charge at the cloud height H and charge plus Q at the below ground depth H. If Q which is equal to 200 coulomb and H which is equal to 6 kilometer, what is the magnitude of the dipole electric field at altitude Z1, which is equal to 30 kilometer and somewhat above the clouds and altitude Z2, which is equal to 60 kilometers, somewhat above the stratosphere. So that means here you have two questions. The first part, we are going to apply the height. That means the altitude level Z1, which is equal to 30 kilometer. And the second part, we are going to apply the value of the Z as 60 kilometers. So here, we are going to find the electric field due to dipole. So first of all, what we are going to do? We are going to write the formula. So let's we write the given first. So once we write the given first, that will be easy for getting an idea. So what is given in the question? They gave the information about the charge. What is the charge? So the charge value is given Q, which is equal to 200 coulomb. And the H value, H, that is nothing but the height, which is 6 kilometer. And two values for Z is given. So Z1 is 30 kilometer. So first of all, I'm going to solve the question for 30 kilometers. Once we complete the first part, I have to go for uh, 60 kilometers. So in the second part, I'm going to consider the Z value as 60 kilometer. Okay. So these are all the information which is given in the question. And we know the formula for the electric field due to dipole. What is the formula? Electric field due to the dipole is given by the relation E, which is equal to 1 over 2 pi epsilon naught P over X cube. So we studied this rule. So here in place of X, what I'm going to do, I'm going to substitute the 
the, the, the letter Z. So if you replace this X with Z, how we can write? We can write this rule as E, which is equal to 1 over 2 pi epsilon naught, the electric dipole, so dipole moment P over Z cube. So this is the rule today I'm going to use for getting the answer for the height uh, for Z value 30 kilometer. And once we complete, we have to come back for the second part, which is Z value 60 kilometers. So let's we apply the value here. And we already know the formula for the dipole moment. What is the formula for the dipole moment? The dipole moment P is given by the rule charge multiplied by distance. What is the distance here? Actually, this is our distance. Clear? So Q multiplied D will come. So here the distance is nothing but 2h why you have to go back to the figure what is the figure you can see the distance between the negative charge to the positive charge is h plus h so the total distance between these two charges is 2h that's the reason here i wrote q multiplied by 2h clear so in this place i'm going to substitute the value so let's we substitute the value for getting the answer for the first part so what is the first part z value is 30 kilometer so we have to convert this kilometer to meter. So it is 30 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3 meter. Because 1 kilometer, which is equal to 1,000 meter, we already studied these things in tap number 1 measurements, right? So I am going to substitute this value here. E, which is equal to 1 over 2 pi, and epsilon naught value is 8.85 multiply 10 power minus 12 multiply with and in this place of p i'm going to substitute this rule so p is equal to q multiplied by 2h over z q so let's we take this is z1 so better i have to write here z1 clear so this is not a 21 this is z and this is z1 okay okay now i'm going to substitute the value so 1 over 2 pi multiply 8.85 multiply 10 power minus 12 multiply with q what is the value of q we have to go back to see the value for q which is 200 right 200 coulomb and the h value is 6 kilometer so 200 multiply with the 2 multiply and the h value is 6 right all right so here the the value of uh, h is 6 kilometer again we have to convert this kilometer to meter so 6 multiply 10 to the power of plus 3 divided by z1 value is 30 kilometers so 30000 meter so 30000 the whole power cube right so here I have to use my calculator. Let me see what is the answer. 200 multiply 2 multiply 6 10 to the power of 3 over 2 pi multiply 8.85 10 to the power of minus 12 multiply 30,000 cube. So here I got the answer as 1598.5 and the unit is newton per coulomb if you want to write it in a power so 1.6 10 to the power of 3 newton per coulomb so this is the answer for the first part clear so what is the first part the z value is 30 kilometer so in the similar way you have to find the answer for the second part which is z1 which is equal to 60 kilometer so we have to go back for that part so the same value z2 value is 60 kilometer so 60 kilometer so which is equal to 60000 meter and the charge same charge 200 coulomb and the h value is 6 kilometer which is 6000 meter that's it. So again, I'm going to substitute the value in the formula. 1 over 2 pi epsilon naught multiplied by 
the dipole moment divided by z2 cube. So now I'm going to substitute the value here. 1 over 2 pi multiply 8.85 10 to the power of minus 12 multiply because here p again q multiply by 2h I have to substitute this here so 2 multiply sorry q multiply with the 2h divided by z2 q so I am going to substitute the value 1 over 2 pi multiply 8.85 multiply 10 to the power of minus 12 and the charge value is 200 coulomb multiply 2 multiply and the h value is uh, 6 kilometer which is 6000 meter divided by here z2 value is 60 kilometer so 60000 so let's we see what is the answer for this. So here I got the answer. E equal to one nine nine point eight one Newton per coulomb. Uh, I can just round it this because this is 199 so 2.0 multiply 10 power 2 Newton per coulomb so this is the answer for this question that's it thank you